Hello and welcome to another video of Circuit Digest. In this video, I'll show you how you can use your Raspberry Pi to stream videos directly from your CCTV DVR. So as you can see, this is the Raspberry Pi that I'm going to use. I have just powered it with an adapter and I have used a 5 inch LCD display which is mounted directly to a Raspberry Pi 3 B+. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the Python script which will read the CCTV footages from my DVR. So if you want to see, I can also show you my DVR over here which is already powered. Now there is no physical connection between the DVR and my Raspberry Pi but uh, my Raspberry Pi and the DVR is operating on the same local network. So this is the LAN cable that's coming out of my router and uh, the, wi uh, the Raspberry Pi is also connected to the same uh, Wi-Fi as that of my router. So uh, what we'll be doing is we'll be using RTSP and getting the video feeds and display it on the Raspberry Pi and we will also be able to change between different screens. So in this video I will just show you how you can get the video feed from your CCTV and uh, display it on Raspberry Pi using OpenCV but once you get hold of OpenCV you can also try other stuff which we have already done like object detection, face recognition and even uh, number plate or uh, recognition or license plate recognition. So the Python code to do this is over here. So uh, basically how I program my Raspberry Pi is that I have PyCharm running on my Windows computer. Uh, this is the Windows computer that you're seeing. And once I do my program in this, I uh, move this to my Raspberry Pi using a uh, and then uh, I uh, compile and debug it with the Pi. So this is the program which is currently on the Raspberry Pi. So this simple CCTV under simple underscore CCTV. This is the same program as CCTV underscore Python over here. So uh, the program is very simple. What you have to do is you have to first check the RTS create an RTSP uh, streaming link. Uh, the details on how to do this can be found at the link given in the description of this video. For now, I'm just going to show you how it works. So uh, in this program, there are two main things that you have to change. One is the username and the other is the password and then the IP address to which your Raspberry Pi is connected. So once you have done all this, again, if you're confused on how to do this, please visit the link in the description. Once you have know, once you know how to do that, uh, the other program is pretty simple. We are just uh, reading the uh, current camera channel so uh, we have uh, by default we start with camera number one so my DVR here for example has four cameras so I'll be using two push buttons on the screen called next and previous and using that if I press the next button we will increment the camera number and uh, if I press the previous button we will decrement the camera number and I will create a, a new camera screen uh, using this function so based on the camera number, I'll create a new camera screen and finally I'll be just displaying it. Now I'm not going in details of the code again because it's uh, explained in the link uh, which you can find in the description. So let's dive into the working. So this is my Raspberry Pi and this is the VNC viewer using which I can control my Pi. So as you can see if I move the cursor here, it also moves there. So I have already opened the Python code which is the same that I explained. I'm using Tony to debug and run my code. So this is the same code that I showed you uh, earlier. Let me just run it. Now, as soon as I run it, the screen should pop up or maybe I didn't click it. Okay, here it is. I didn't click it properly previously. So uh, as you can see, this is the screen of the CCTV feed, which is coming live uh, from my DVR. Uh, what I can do is I can use the uh, previous and next button over here to switch between the screens. I can either control it from my VNC or I'll just do it directly from here for the sake of this video. So if I press the next button, you can see that the screen moves to the next camera. Uh, I have four screens as I told. So this is camera number two, camera number three, and camera number four. So again, if I press next, it will loop back to camera number one. So uh, likewise, you can do many other stuff with this, but for this tutorial, let me hold it uh, with this. So you'll be able to stream 
as many uh, camera feeds you want uh, so i'll meet you in another tutorial where i'll be adding uh, motion detection to this and also some recording features so that we can record if there is any motion and send it to your smartphone using telegram i have already started working on the code uh, with the telegram part and everything uh, but uh, let me not get into this for this tutorial i'll meet you in another tutorial for that thank you bye bye